There are three methods to split by seat in POS. The first option is to assign seats to member and cash via the Assign Seats button, then Add Items. The second option is to add items, then assign seats to member and cash via the Assign Current Seat button. Thirdly, we can add items, then assign seats to member and cash via the Split by Seat button. First, you'll want to start by navigating to Point of Sale, Chip Processing, and Start a New Chip. From here, we can go ahead and select a table and enter our member number. Next, go ahead and enter the number of covers. The following two options allow you to assign seats prior to using the split by seat feature. Now let's look at how to assign seats to member and cash, then add items. So the first step we'll want to do is click the assign seats button. From here, we're going to go ahead and click More Seats and enter the number of seats within the party. Now that we have the number of seats, we want to assign those seats over to our members or cash. We can do so by clicking the Assign Seats button. So we'll go ahead and enter our first member and your second seat will pop up immediately. So go ahead and enter your member number or click OK for cash. After you've assigned your seats, go ahead and click OK. Now that we've assigned our seats, we can go ahead and add our menu items. Next, you can switch over to your other menu and use the Split by Seat option. In the Split by Seat window, go ahead and select any one of the split options. The next option we have is to add items, then assign seats to member and cash. The process is very similar. We'll go ahead and select our table, enter a member number, our number of covers, and instead of assigning our seats, we're going to start off by entering our items. Now that we have our items, we're going to use the Assign Current Seat button. The first seat will already be populated with the member you selected from the beginning. So now we can go ahead and add the member or cash for seat 2. Just make sure you complete this step for each additional seat within the party. Now that we've added our items and assigned our current seats, we can switch over to our other menu and use that same split by seat button. And go ahead and choose your option from the screen. Lastly, there is the option to add items, then assign seats to member and cash. This last option allows you to assign seats using the split by seat feature, so i.e. assign and split seats all in one go. So we'll go ahead and select our table, enter our member number, number of covers, and we're going to start by adding our items again. Now we're going to switch over to our other menu right away. And this time we're going to use our split by seat button. The member we previously selected is already assigned to seat 1. So now we can go ahead and assign seat 2 and 3. If you'd like to assign seat 2 and 3 to the same member, you can actually go ahead and select both, then click assign seats. However, if you would like to assign the seats individually, we don't need to highlight the seats, we're just going to click Assign Seats. Go ahead and enter your member number, and it will automatically allow you to continue filling in all additional seats. From here, you can go ahead and add the member number, or click OK for cash. Once you've assigned your seats, you can go ahead and use one of your split options. 